Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 4 in PySpark Real-Time Scenarios playlist. In this example or in this video, I will be explaining about different ways to apply any functions on top of the columns in data frame using PySpark. That means there are some built-in functions, right? For example, maybe converting data to uppercase. So, if that function, if you want to apply on a column in a data frame, then what are the different ways available to do there? Not only that function, you can actually write a Python function your own to do some transformation. Even that also you can apply on top of data frame. For that, you will use a transform function. So, that a dedicated video I did it in PySpark playlist. Still, I will cover here as well. So, basic idea is to know how many different ways are there to apply any kind of function on top of the data frame columns in PySpark. So let's do this. So let me go to browser. Here I have already opened my Databricks workspace. Let me create a new notebook and here I will name it like maybe for demo. Okay. Python is a default language and cluster. So once I hit create button, it will create my notebook and here quickly let's try to create a data frame. I am creating a variable called data in which I am storing list of tuples. In first loop pool, I have first item as one, second item as Mahir. Let's say this is ID column and name column. Copy. Let's add another row, maybe like ID2 and Wafa. Okay. So now let's try to create a schema variable in which I will be having column names saved. ID column, name column. Spark keyword will give you Spark session object. On top of it, we have create data frame function which creates a data frame. So for that function, I am passing my data and schema variables that creates a new data frame. That data frame I am storing in a variable called df. So if you don't know much about PySpark, data frame, all these functions and everything, I covered them detailedly in my PySpark playlist. So please watch that playlist and then watch real-time scenarios playlist so that you will get most out of it. So finally, data frame dot show function to print the data frame. So let me hit shift enter to execute this command and I can see my data frame with ID and name columns and it has two rows. If you closely observe name column has values in a smaller case. Now let's assume I want to convert that column into upper. So for that there is a function called upper function. So from PySpark dot SQL dot functions library there is some from this module there is a function called upper okay so using this upper function i can convert data to uppercase this is fine now how to apply this upper function on top of my column right this is built in function so for that if i go to presentation so there are multiple ways we can use with column we can use sql we can use select and there is a dedicated function called transform also this will be useful when you have your function created separately it's like a custom function to apply so let me practically show you that if you see here for with column function we know that from our pysr playlist it will allow you to change the data in a column or to add a new column also right so for that function i am passing my upper function to convert that column data so let me practically write the code and show you that so let me close this here and here let me zoom little bit so on top of data frame i am using this with column function to with to this function i am telling take the name column and then convert the data so how to convert what kind of function to apply that you have to pass it as a second parameter so here i am using the upper function to the function i am giving my name column so this entire code will generate a new data frame so on top of that i am using a show function to show the data frame so once i hit shift enter command executed and you can see here data converted into uppercase so this is how using with function or with column function you can apply a built-in function on top of a column in a data frame similarly there is something called select function using which you can select the columns so maybe i want to select id column from my data frame so this entire code will give me uh, the uh, new data frame. So on top of that, I will be using a show function. So not only ID, maybe I want to get name column as well. So let me hit shift enter to execute this code. And if you closely observe, we got ID column and name column. This is good. But now I want to apply a function on top of name column. 
so what i want to do i want to convert this to uppercase so what i will be doing it here is i will be using a upper function to the upper function i am passing my day of dot name so now let me hit shift enter and let's see what will happen if you see data converted into uppercase using this select statement as well but if you see the column name came as upper name so what i can do here i can use alias function with which i can give a alias name so i am converting this column name into name again using this alias syntax so let me hit shift enter to execute command now and once the command runs you can see my data converted and my upper function successfully applied on a column in data frame so now another method if i go back to presentation we can use a sql so that means if you have seen uh, my pyspark videos on top of data frame there is something called create or replace temp view function that will kind of create a table like a sql table you can assume within the memory i mean it won't be like a physically storing the table from the data frame it will create a temporary table or a temporary view which will be available for that session so in that session only so maybe i will be using like a person persons table i am naming this data frame data as a persons table since now i created a table on top of it what i can do is i can simply use spark dot sql function in which i can write a sql code directly so like this select id column then upper so using the upper function here on top of name column and i will give a alias name to it maybe like a name from persons table because persons is like a table now not a physical table it's a temporary table within the session so and this entire code will again will give you a data frame so i will be using a show function on top of it so let me hit shift enter to execute this code now and if you see here the result you see even that particular code also converted this column data into uppercase that means our function was applied on the column in a data frame successfully using this sql function as well so not only that as i said let's assume you have a custom function and that function has a logic of doing some transformation how to apply that custom function now on a data frame so this is very easy a little bit of out of context of this topic but still it will be good to know so what i will be doing it here is i will be creating a function called maybe upper name and to this i am passing a data frame as a df and then inside i am returning this df dot with column and from the data frame if there is a name column take that and then convert that into uppercase so finally return back the entire data frame so this is what this function will do so now what i will be doing is on top of the data frame i am using this transform function to the transform function i am passing my upper name function this will give you a new data frame all together so finally i use a show function and shift enter to execute this cell so there is some error upper is not defined right the reason is we should use this upper in a small quotation so let me take this because upper is a function right so let me shift enter now let's wait for the code to run and you can see my data converted so in short to apply any kind of built in function you can use with column function or sql function or select functions that will easily allow you to apply functions on top of columns in a data frame so i hope you got an idea thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much